Like every year, a lot of anime came out in 2023, and just as many people think they know which one was the best, HA! I'm gonna prove them wrong today, and you're coming with me. We're gonna take a look at the number one spots on all these various lists that have come out. A quick disclaimer, however, I am quite literally the biggest Attack on Titan simp ever, so when it doesn't get the number one spot, I'm going to be mad. I'll start with Mark Samet's article from Game Rant, and he put Vinland Saga Season 2 at the top. I wasn't the biggest fan of all the changes made between Season 1 and Season 2 of Vinland Saga, but I do know what the diehard fans are gonna say. The zooming action of Season 1 was only a precursor to the best story ever written. Perhaps that's true, but it's very slow and quite different. So different, in fact, I made a whole video about one of its key changes. It was good, but it certainly wasn't the best anime to come out in 2023. We shouldn't be surprised by Mr. Samet's wrongness. Attack on Titan isn't even on here, making him immediately disqualified from having an opinion ever again. On to a fancier looking list by Josh Rosenberg. Looks like Esquire didn't do a bad job when hiring this this man. He's an actual genius for his placement of Attack on Titan's conclusion. Is what I would say if Mr. Rosenberg didn't have a slightly different opinion about it being number one. In his mind, the finale of Attack on Titan was edged out by Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Season 2 is awesome. I just did a video about one of its segments. But just like Season 1, its predecessor, it's kind of like on explaining how the magical arts in its universe work exactly. That might be a total skill issue on my part, I don't know. But what I do know is that for me, when Gojo says something cool like domain expansion, I occasionally am like, what does that even mean? If someone in the comments can illuminate me to how the three veils over Shibuya work, I'll give you a smooch. And I'm aware that in the show itself, they explain how the three veils work. My brain just shuts off every time they try. I'll let Mr. Rosenberg go and proceed to the next list. If you watch reviews on YouTube or are a gamer, you've heard of IGN before. They're very mediocre at their job. It's not even the writer Rosie Knight's fault. It's part of being employed there. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly, depending on who you are, Vinland Saga is number one here as well. Second time we've ran into that today, but Whatever. Just wait till you see the runner-ups and the honorable mentions, though. As an Attack on Titan fan, me and the Jujutsu Kaisen fans are gonna band together now because we don't even get a spot in the runner-up list. No, 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 no. We're in the trash with the barely mentionable honorable mentions. Gee, I sure wonder what we lost to. Bochi the Rock! Another new anime series that made our runner-up list was this delightful music anime that centers around a young woman with severe anxiety. I'm bored already! Among the honorable mentions, there's Scott Pilgrim Takes Off, which isn't even an anime! It was made by an American and a Canadian. I would have just preferred if you left Attack on Titan and Jujutsu Kaisen off the list because then I'd know you were completely insane. We'd better move on before I have an anger seizure. Polygon is the first article to even include Demon Slayer. Was I the only one who saw Mitsuri? <laughs> well, at least Demon Slayer is on the list. I bet number one is going to be something totally unobjectionable. It's going to be epic. And it looks like we have a repeat with Jujutsu Kaisen. Another point. I'm coming for you. A whole bunch of people came up with this list. And guess what? Scott Pilgrim takes off. It's not, it's not anime. Man, how many monkeys does it take to screw a light bulb into the top of Mount Everest? A lot, apparently. Time to check up on the completely reputable and never wrong Kotaku site and a list by Isaiah Colbert. This is my live reaction of figuring out what's at the top of the list. Okay. Love is war, Kaguya-sama, eh, you know, to each their own. Mob Psycho 100, all right, yeah, I like that, I like that pick. Motherfuck! Surely this next list from the rap is gonna be great. It's by Raquel Rocky Harris. That is a ridiculously awesome name. Yo, Adrian! I did it! All right, here I go, reading the list, Demon Slayer. Oh, Attack on Titan is like all the way at the top. Jujutsu Kaisen's right in front of it. And Girlfriend Girlfriend is where I'm gonna stop reading. Kanajo Mo Kanajo, or Girlfriend Girlfriend. 
can be entertaining for us red-blooded men. I'll admit, I'm a degenerate. Deal with it. Sucky, wait! <laughs> <laughs> but even us decadent wasteland Americans out here, we're not gonna look at you with a straight face and go, girlfriend, girlfriend is a superior level art piece that makes Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen, and Demon Slayer look downright stupid. Rocky wouldn't tell you that either. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. The next one that'll most certainly aggravate me is from Cosmopolitan by Tamara Fuentes. Oh, Jesus. Since the entries here aren't even ranked, here's my rapid fire review. It's bad. It's really bad. I would celebrate Attack on Titan getting a placement, but this set of picks was made by someone who I'd bet a hundred bucks has never watched anime before. Here's some quick examples if you don't believe me. If you put One Piece on a 2023 best of list, that is the biggest cop out I could possibly imagine. Do you remember yourself when the Bible was created? Yeah, that's around the time when One Piece started airing. Scott Pilgrim takes off, still not an anime. Birdie Wing, Golf Girl's Story. Hell, that might actually be super good, but I have never heard of anything of the sort. The next set comes from Collider.com, and it's by Afiba AJ Williams Fairnot. Whoa. All right, taking a look here, we have the very usual selections. Not gonna bore you with the, sure, I'll bore you with those. Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, Spy X Family, and Mashoku Tensei. It's surprising because no other list had them. And the number one spot is, <laughs> let's go! Yeah, 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 I got a little excited, but hey, it happens to everybody their first time. For the final list I'll cover, I had a great idea. Let's look up the most controversial listed post on the anime subreddit, posted by user Amethyst Italian. I had to find it on my phone, and no joke, this could be a doctoral dissertation. It, it's extensive. <laughs> There's an Izakai of the Year female lead section. Yeah, I figured out how to say IZK right. Izakai. D don't bully me anymore. This guy thinks Jujutsu Kaisen season two was the worst sequel to come from anime this year? No. At the very least, it's adequate and on par. I don't see how it wouldn't be. I suppose the first few episodes aren't as good as the first few episodes in season one, but that hardly matters. Now, if you're gonna tell me, no, 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 Mr. Otaku, opinions can't be wrong. Well, that's a wrong opinion. You see, have you ever heard of Hitler? Another one of this guy's fantastic takes is Vinland Saga season two was the worst adventure anime of 2023. An odd thing to say because it isn't an adventure anime. I guess it takes place in a world where adventures typically happen, but no, it's pretty confined for the most part. I'm also confused by the briefness and surface level nature of his reasoning. He mentions pacing reunions and no new likable characters without giving any examples. I wouldn't really have anything to criticize here if he did give examples, because I could do it for him. When it comes to pacing, it's slow but consistent. On the other hand, season one was fast and consistent. This man doesn't like either of them, which is just weird. He then says, without context, the reunions, that's... Not even a point. Final statement, no new likable characters. Well, I suppose that's subjective, but I find it difficult to believe that out of the 10 or so new characters, you didn't like a thing about any of them. You just hate people, man. Woo! All right, we're done here. I think I, think I went through way too many lists for my poor, emotionally unstable mind to handle. With that being said, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your American Otaku. This, of course, has been my co-host, Zero Two, and I'll catch you next time.